Hello, my friends. Since we read our video, Happy New Year, and we read about how one way they celebrated the New Year in China was making paper lanterns for a lantern festival, um, we thought that we could make some paper lanterns today. And I say we because when we did our little close reading, um, Osvaldo and I were doing the little partner discussion online, and we decided that maybe it would be fun to try some of our own. So today I'm gonna show you how to make one kind of paper lantern. It won't be the same kind as the illustration and the stories, but there are many ways to do it. So um, here's what I've done to get ready to make my lantern. I didn't have any colored paper. You can just use plain colored paper, whatever you have around the house. Um, you could probably even use newspaper if it's thick enough. Um, I just colored some designs on some regular white paper that I'm gonna use today. Now, um, you're also gonna need a pair of scissors, um, something to hold paper together, whether it's tape or glue, whatever you've got around the house. I'm gonna be using tape today. <clears throat> you need something to measure with. You're, you've been working on measurement with Miss Preciado, and so you know a lot about measurement at this point, and we're gonna be using those skills today. Um, and I made a little handle for my lantern before I started. I did this by braiding three pipe cleaners, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. If you don't have um, something to braid, like pipe cleaners to make a handle, I'm gonna show you how to use the strips of paper that we're about to cut off from uh, this sheet or one of your sheets of paper to make the handle. Um, before we get started, if you want to do the braided one, I'm just going to quickly show you how to braid three pipe cleaners, or you could just use one plain one, but I'm going to show you how to make something a little fancy just for fun. So the way you get started is you're going to get three pipe cleaners, and this is just like for those of you who know how to braid hair, this is just like braiding hair. And then at the very end, I'm going to twist the three together and then all we need to do to make a braid is just make a pattern. I'm gonna go left into the middle and then the one on the right into the middle. And I'm gonna keep following that pattern. Left into the middle, right into the middle, left into the middle, and so on until we've braided this whole thing. So now that we've gotten down to the end, we're just gonna finish this off as much as we can. It doesn't have to be right down to the end. And we're just gonna twist that other end closed. And now we've got a little braided handle that's a little bit fancy if you want something a little extra colorful. But that isn't necessary for your lantern. There's another way to make handles. So you're going to choose, there's going to be um, a center in this lantern that's going to look like a cylinder and there's going to be um, an outer piece that's cut into slits so i'm going to use this striped piece as my center and here's what i'm going to do to get started so um, i know that you guys have been working with miss preciado um, very nicely You've been kind of overseeing your work in google classroom and taking a peek every now and then at that um, you've been working with measuring with inches. We are going to use another side of our ruler today. We're gonna to be measuring in centimeters, and these are some smaller units um, so that we can get um, some kind of tinier numbers here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure that I've got my long side oriented like this, and I'm gonna align my ruler, and I'm going to make I'm gonna make a mark at one and a half centimeters on this side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side at one and a half. Probably better if I do it down here at one and a half. And one and a half. And then I'm gonna turn my paper all the way around and do the same thing. So 
one and a half centimeters. And then one and a half centimeters. This is gonna make sure that I give myself a nice even line. I need something to use as a straight edge here. I didn't think of that. To use as a nice even line all the way down so that I don't cut crooked because I'm gonna cut off some strips and if you don't have pipe cleaners or some other thing that you can use as a handle at home, you're gonna use these strips of paper that you cut off. So I'm gonna take this paper and use it as a, just a nice straight edge to give me a guide to cut on. So I'm gonna line it up with that mark I made up there and the mark I made down here, goodness. And I'm gonna draw my nice straight line on this side. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna use my straight edge. If you have a ruler at home, that will be helpful. I feel a little silly for being a teacher without a ruler in my house. I only have that tape. So I am going to cut along my nice straight line. Take your time, make sure you cut a nice straight line. Oh, these scissors are not quite sharp. I wonder why. Thank goodness I had another pair that the boys are using. Oh, much better. So remember, go as slowly as you need to to make a nice straight line. And at the end, save these, because at the end, you can use this as the handle of your lantern if you don't have pipe cleaners. These will make a perfectly good handle. Okay, so here is what I'm gonna do with this piece of paper. I'm gonna roll this into a cylinder and I'm going to find some way to secure it, whether that is tape like I have or you might use some glue, hot glue, staples will work. Anything you've got at home that will make two things stay together. You could even use paper clips if you had to. There we go, and I'm gonna sort of get that to lie down a little more evenly. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is gonna be sort of the inner part of our lantern. All right, and here is our next step. We're gonna set this piece aside for now, and we're gonna work with this piece. And our first step to this is we are gonna fold it in half. Okay, and we are going to make some more marks on this paper. I have lost my measuring tape. Here it is. So we're gonna do that same centimeter and a half, one and a half centimeter mark here. And then we're gonna do it again on this side. One and a half centimeters. I'm using a pen so that you guys can see this. But if you wanna use a pencil to make this a super light line, that's fine too. Okay, I'm gonna draw a line all the way across. And then I am going to make a mark every one centimeter across this page. Every one centimeter, I'm gonna do it 
right on this line. This line is my stopping point. Do not, 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 not cut even a little bit past this line or the sort of lantern effect won't work. So every one centimeter, I'm going to make a mark. This is going to make sure that the strips I'm going to cut are so super nice and even. Now you could do these bigger if you wanted to, if you wanted to flip this over and use the, the inch ruler to do this, you could. I think that um, having lots of little ones makes it sort of cute looking. And then I'm gonna do the same thing all down the other side. I'm gonna make a mark every centimeter. Again, if you wanted bigger strips for your lantern, you could use two centimeters or you could flip it over and go every inch. That's just a matter of what you like and enjoy and what looks beautiful to you. Okay, so I am going to connect all these lines because I really, the straighter I can get my cuts for this, the, the more beautiful and even my lantern will look. I had that straight edge covering my paper so I didn't put a big ugly mark there. Oh, we can there. That's better. All right. So all the way down. <laughs> Okay, now that we got that done, we're ready for our next step. So what we're gonna do is cut along all of these lines. And remember, it's gonna be very important not to go past this line. We want a little space here where we're going to eventually attach this to um, the center part of our lantern. So we wanna make sure that we're cutting from this fold, this fold in the middle. We're cutting from this fold in the middle and we're stopping at that line. So we're gonna cut down all of these guidelines we made. Remember, take your time. Cut carefully, the more even your cuts and the more straight your cuts, the prettier your lantern will turn out. I have a whole bunch of nice even strips. I'm just going to continue cutting along. Okay, so now we've got something that looks like this, and this is where things kind of get a little fun. I'm gonna fold along this strip a little bit just so I can get a clean spot to attach my lantern. That will help a little bit. I'm gonna just, again, fold right where that cut meets. That's gonna give me a, a good place to attach this. And so what we're gonna do now is pretty simple. It might take an adult and you might need, you know, extra hands here, but we'll just find one edge and I'm going to use some tape to kind of hold this in place and get me started. It can be a little tricky. So again, some grown-up help here would be really helpful or not just grown-up, brother or sister help or cousin help or whoever you've got in your household there. And you can see as I'm spreading this out that I'm getting my lovely 
lantern effect. I'm gonna start with the edges first and then I'll kind of secure around the middles. One end done, and now I'm gonna tape up this other end. There we go. This side. And you can see we've got this beautiful little lantern, paper lantern, and you would of course go around and if you're using glue, it's probably easier. But if you're using tape or some staples, you would wanna go all the way around and make sure that it's secure at the top and bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just snip a little slit on either side to attach my um, my braided handle. If you didn't make a braided handle, you can use glue or tape to, you know, on the inside or staples on the inside to attach a handle, or you can do what I'm doing and just quick snip a couple of holes on either side. And then just kind of wind your handle through, curve it up on either end so that it stays attached. Oh, this hole might not be big enough. There we go. Okay, and I've got my little lantern. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pop a little flashlight in here. Please don't use candles or open flame. This is just paper. I'm gonna try popping a little flashlight in here and heading into um, a dark closet and seeing how well it illuminates. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me for art today. I hope you enjoyed our fun lantern project and send me pictures if you do this project because I love seeing your work. Goodbye, my friends.